Hello and welcome to DVX UI. Today on this channel, we are going to create this animated hero section. So let's see how can we do it. So on my screen, you can see I have a frame called resources. If you want to find this resources, you're going to find it in the description link. So you will get all these component which are very important to design that hero section. So now let's start with that over here. Perfect. So now first of all to create that hero section we need a frame and that is going to be the desktop frame from here. Click over here and this is dropped on here. Now what I am going to do is first of all I am going to select it and increase the height of this one to 1400 because I want pretty large like this one. Then hit shift and 2. Now after that I'm going to select this one and give it a corner radius of 32 like this and change the color to F5. Perfect. Now we need a header over here. So if I go to resources, I have already created this header. This is very easy to do. I have already created all these component so that we can focus on the animation part mostly. So over here we have this one, the site name which is just a text, then the nav links again text and a button created using auto layout and the text. Alright, now let me select it and copy that. Then I will go to this desktop and here I will just paste it. Perfect. Now I'm going to align in the center then in the top. In this way it will be aligned to its perfect position. Now the second thing that I want is the hero text over here. Alright, so let's get that. Go to resources, copy this complete one. Well not that, but this one. So copy that. Go to desktop and here paste it. It is over here. I'm just going to select it and drag it over here. And now I have selected all of it. I'm going to check this gap. So how can you do it? You need to press Alt key and then hover on the other element. It is 87. I need 80. So for that I will hit arrow up. This is 79 and now this is 80. Perfect. Now I'm going to select all of them. Right click and put them in a group. Perfect. In this way they will be converted into a group. Now I can align them in the center. Perfect, it is aligned. So this is how so far our hero section is looking like. Now what I need to do is I need to put some decoration over here and over here. So let's do that. Select this circle which is very mild in color. You can see it. And here I'm going to paste it. Perfect. Then I'm going to align it at the top and then towards the right. Like this. So that half of it will not be visible. Perfect. Then right click and send to back. Perfect. Same thing I'm going to do on the other side. So paste it over here. Align in the left. Make it like this. And this one is going to be slightly down not like that perfect it is all right then i'm going to move it to the back perfect so the decoration part is also done now what we need to do is we need to create that astronaut hovering effect over here but before that for the astronaut we need to create a platform over here let me show you what so i'm going to hit o on my keyboard and draw an ellipse like this. The width is going to be 1800 and the height is going to be 640. Align in the middle and then slightly at the bottom. Perfect. Now it is going to have the same color as this button. Cross it. The fill color opacity is going to be only 50%. After that I will provide an effect of layer blur 
and the blur value is going to be 300. Perfect. So this is how the complete background is ready. And now let me tell you about my course, because if you see all these component, these are designed using the principles of the web designing. And in this course, I'm teaching exactly that. So if you want to learn the UI UX principles, the responsive web design, animated web design, 3D web design, and if you want to master Figma Make and Figma Site, you can enroll in this course. What we are doing over here is we are combining all your project which you are going to do in this course and creating a portfolio website. You can see over here. In this way, you're going to have a number of projects and a portfolio website when you are going to finish this course. All right, so I hope to see you there. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so this is how it is ready. The static part is done. Now we need to animate our astronaut. So I'm going to go over here, select this one, make a copy and put it over here like this. First of all, I'm going to right click and select this option, which is frame selection. Perfect. Now in the height, I'm going to write 1000 like this. Perfect. Now make sure this image is bottom aligned. So like this, perfect. All right, let me select this frame and provide it a fill color so that you can see it properly. Perfect. Now select this frame and make a copy. Place it over here and select this astronaut image. Align at the top. Slightly more. Perfect, this is all right. Now since we have two state, we can animate between them. So let me show you how. I'm going to select this one, push it over here, then go to prototype, select the first one, take out this noodle and connect it with the second one. The trigger is going to be after delay, like this. The delay is going to be only one millisecond. The animation is going to be smart animate off is in and out after that the duration is going to be 2400 milliseconds cross this and similar thing is going to happen for this one so take this frame take out this noodle and point to the second one well you have to be very careful over here because you need to take out this noodle from this frame not this image all right got it now after that, I'm going to remove this flow from here and now to use it in my section, first of all, I need to go to design, select both of them and then make a component set like this. Perfect. Now after that, I can go in the assets, then over here in this first one, then I will find this astronaut and then I will hit this button insert instance and it will be created like this. Now what I can do is if I go to prototype and give it start flowing point, then I can test it out on a small window like this. All right. So now if you can see this is animating very properly, but now it is not moving back. Well, let me go over here, select this one. So from here after delay, everything is all right. And from here, it is on click. We need to make it after delay. Make it one milliseconds. Perfect. It is done. Now, if I play it, it will play in the loop. You can see it. Perfect. It is done. Cross it. Now I can select these two. Go to design and then remove this fill color. In this way, it will be removed from this child as well. So cut it and here I'm just going to place it. It is over here. So just align it at the bottom like this. Perfect. Now, if I play this, you will see how it looks. All right. So now you can see this is going above this button. It means there is a problem. We need to fix it. Well, we have an easy fix for this one. We can select it, hit K, 
In this way, the scale tool will appear. Make it small like this. Perfect. Align in the middle. And let's see. All right, we need to reload it. Perfect. So now you can see it is not touching that button and it is perfectly right. Now after that, there is one more animation part that we need to do. We need to make that line going from here till here and then coming back. So let's see how can we do it. We will go over here and then we will draw a frame like this. The width for this one is going to be 1440. Let me switch to file. Perfect. And zoom in. The color for this one is going to be F5. We are going to remove the color, but for now, let's keep it like this only. And after that, the height is only going to be 80. Perfect. Then over here, I'm going to zoom in, take a line and draw like this. Perfect. Make sure this angle is zero. And then I'm going to select this color, provide gradient. The black color is going to be the primary one. And this color is going to be 00, zero. or maybe we can take F5 and make it 0%. That will be more accurate. Perfect. Now after that, if you see the orange color is given over here, we need to invert this. We can do it with this button. So do it. Perfect. Cross it. All right. So the first line is created. We just need to select it. Go over here in the weight and write 4. In the end point, I'm going to make it rounded. Like this. Perfect. Now what we need to do is, I'm going to zoom out. And then I'm going to make 4 more copies. So first of all, let's make first one. So hit Ctrl D. Place this one at the bottom. Over here and select this line and align it at the right using this button. Perfect. It is aligned. Now I'm going to select this one and make one more copy. Place it over here. Perfect. Now I'm going to select this line and then invert it using this button, which is flip horizontal. In this way, now the orange color will be over here. So it will look that it has gone and then it is coming back. Perfect. Now we need to make one more state. So that is going to be over here and select this one, align in the left. Perfect. It is done. Now we just need to animate them. So go to prototype, select the first one and animate it to the second one. This is also going to happen on its own. So select after delay of one milliseconds and this is going to be linear. So linear and the duration should be 2000 milliseconds. Perfect. Cross it. Now after that, when it is over here, the only thing that is changing over here is this is inverting or flipping. So what we can do is we can take out the noodle point to the second one trigger is going to be after delay of one milliseconds but the smart animate is going to be instant so that it happens instantly and we don't have to wait for it perfect cross it now select the second one point to the fourth one and make it after delay one milliseconds but not instant this time i want to animate this because it is going from here till here. So smart animate linear 2000. Perfect. Cross it. Now I want this animation to run in a loop. So I'm going to select the last one and point it to the first one. This is going to be instant because in the last one and in the first one, it is at the same position. It means this line is only flipping over here. Nothing else. So cross that. Now I'm going to select all of them. Go to design and first of all, 
remove this color we don't want that then go over here and make a component set perfect now i can select this one or i can go to assets select this one the second one and insert an instance perfect push it over here give it a flow starting point and let's see how it looks all right this is looking perfect and now it is not going back over here so let's see that select this one and see this noodle on click we need to make it after delay of one milliseconds perfect now if i play this all right it is moving perfectly it means we have created it perfectly all right cross this now i'm just going to take out this noodle copy this frame so cut it from there and here in this one i'm just going to paste it perfect go to design align in the center then right click and send to back perfect after that i will push it up like this then i will make one more copy of it so hit ctrl d to make a duplicate and place it over here and now i'm going to select this second one and i'm going to invert it so that when this one is coming from here this will come from here perfect now select both and put them in an auto layout using this button perfect the gap is 8 we want 0 all right then i'm going to select this first one and hit and make a copy align at the bottom in this auto layout similar thing is going to happen with this one so ctrl d aligned at the bottom so that a cross effect will take place perfect so so far we have done the animation also now let's see how it is looking and if we have done any mistake so i'm just going to select it and play it from here perfect let me make it large all right so now on your screen as you can see this is working very perfectly and we have done a great job if you also have created this along with me consider sending it to our telegram group because if you do that people will help you learn that what you are doing wrong in your designing journey in that way you can improve a lot so with this one last thing that i want to tell you about is this course so if you are willing to learn ui ux designing or the web designing using figma this is the best chance this is going to be best investment in the designing journey of yours and i really hope to see you in this course many people have taken it and they are loving it all right so with this one now it's time to say goodbye we will meet in the next one